So the first thing I'll do is I want to make sure that these machines are configured with the right IP address. We're going to be forgetting about concept of routes and making sure that these people will talk to these people. We want to make sure that anybody in within our network should be able to communicate. So at least these guys should be able to communicate. These guys should be able to communicate. These guys, these guys, because logically, these guys and these guys are not in the same network. So there's no way they should be able to communicate, which is fine. But we're saying that uh, within one subnet, they should be able to communicate. So let's make sure we put the right IP address and subnets. And so for this particular machine, maybe again, documentation plays a key role. This is going to be dot one, and this is going to be dot two. And when I pick this machine, I'm going to give it an IP address of 172.16.0.1. With a subnet mask of 255.255.255.192. And that's it. I'm going on the, the second machine. And then I'm going to configure that as well. So this is 172.16.0.2. Um, the subnet mask of 255.255.255.192. And that's the second network, second IP address. So, um, now I'm going to be testing it, but before I test it, let me just clean my screen a bit. So at this point, I want to test my, first of all, I'm going to see whether I've configured an IP address on my interface, on my device. It's given 172.16.0.1, which is fine. So I'm going to ping this, the second machine, which is ping 172.16. The zero dot two, and it's pinging. It means that anybody within the network, if it's configured properly, there's not going to be any barriers. That's fine. Now, this one is also a different network. So, this is a one seven two sixteen dot zero dot sixty four network. So, I can give the first machine sixty five. So dot sixty five, and this one I'll give it dot sixty six. So we have two different IPs here. So I'm going on this machine and I'll be configuring it as well. 